Fresh off a win in the swamp, the Texas A&M Aggies hit the bye week. It offers a chance to recover and refocus with the home stretch of the schedule on the horizon. Um, listen, you got time this week. Make sure you know you, you use it the right way. It's hard to believe it's been seven weeks, right? It seems like just yesterday we were out here talking about getting on a plane going, going to Los Angeles. You young guys didn't believe it, right? It's quick. You're going to look up. And these next four or five weeks are gonna fly by. But you, you approached it the right way, one week at a time, just trying to get better. Okay, stay out of the big picture, you hear me? Don't let this time away from everybody or this time where you get some rest, don't let outside people start to creep back in. Because you, you're putting yourself in a position to, to, to really do some special things. And if you think of it that way, and you stay the same, we just get better every week, like we've been doing, we're gonna be just fine. And we can't go backwards. But we gotta be smart in how we approach this week and next week. Hey man, stay locked in this week. Get, get your bodies right, we got time. Hey, family on three, one, two, three, family. family. It's always good going into bye week, especially when you got a hard fought win the week before. But uh, I feel like this week is going to be really beneficial for a lot of guys who haven't had time to get that extra treatment or that extra sleep or just a uh, little more rest. Uh, you know, the SEC is a, is a man's league, and, and you get beat up, you know. It's, uh, you're not going to be playing without pain for the rest of the season from this point out. So anytime you can get one weekend off to kind of recuperate, it's really, uh, really crucial. For offensive lineman Connor Lanfear, this week brings a chance to get away from football and on the water. I mean, me and Greer, you know, we love to go fishing any chance we get. Anytime we can, uh, you know, drive out of town a little ways and put the boat in the water and, and just kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of, uh, you know, the developed world is, is always good. Uh, yep, there he is. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on. Damn. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about how to set the hook right there and <laughs> I still screw it up. That's a good sign, dude. Oh, that's part of fishing, man. Even when you do everything right sometimes, it still doesn't work out. Yeah, it's kind of like football too. We go usually at least once a week. Um, we we usually only go if it's after a win though. I don't know. I think I like fishing and hunting so much just because like it gives you an outlet to get away from you know the high stress life of, you know, a Division One football player, because a lot of people don't know, you know, that it can be really stressful, you know. You're on TV, millions of people watch you, and times like this, you know, really help to kind of let you decompress, let your blood pressure go down a little bit. Keeps from coming back. There he is. Come on, baby. Come on. Get up here. That's a decent fish. Come on. There he is. There you go. All right. Come on. Come on. Ooh. You're a fighter. Oh. That's a good size bass. Yeah. Sure it is. Have to get a picture of that one. That's what we're out here for. Look at that. Look at the shoulders on that sucker. That's wow. a healthy fish. See how broad he is right there? A solid muscle. This is one of the few things I've found outside of football that will really get my adrenaline pumping. Yeah. Like similar to a football game, both hunting and fishing. And the boat you go. Yep. The smaller one you don't have to. There goes the boat. Perfect. Didn't even have to mess with him. <sighs> Yeah. Still a pretty fish, though. Thanks, buddy. I agree. You got to catch up, man.
The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by AT&T, a proud sponsor of Texas A&M Athletics, entertainment your way. Texas A&M football feels like the third phase is second to none. This program has a special teams tradition of excellence. That's not lost on the 2017 group. Uh, special teams wise, I think I've seen a lot of growth throughout our whole unit this year. Um, you know, playing a lot of guys, offense, defense, and including special teams. Um, I've really noticed, you know, how we've progressed and, and everybody's starting to learn and, and kind of fall into what we're supposed to do. And we're just trying to be better than, you know, all the specials that have been here before us, we can leave our own legacy. We try to be better than the people before us, and Coach Banks pushes that standard of us every week. Jeff Banks is serving in his fourth season as the special teams coordinator, and there's never been a day he's been short on energy. Two's up, run it! Two's up, run it! Beautiful, beautiful. Good. Go, 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 go! Come on, Sinker! He's very energetic. Oh man, he's intense, crazy, energy, everything. Good, that's it, find it, find it! Very thankful to have him as a coach because I would not be the long snapper that I am today or be able to be the coverage kind of guy that I am if it wasn't for him and I think all of us specialists would say the same. Good! That's what I want right there. Good, good. Every good unit requires a solid on-field general. The specialists look to senior punter Shane Trapuca to fill that role. During the game, he's always trying to get the team up and going, and that's something as a leader he's really stepped up and really done. He wasn't necessarily like that his entire time here, but he's stepped into a leadership role in special teams, and he's definitely been a whole lot more vocal, and he's always cheering us on. He's our biggest fan, every single one of us. I would say he's the leader of the special teams group. He's very good at, like, although we do play a lot, uh, he's very good at keeping us in check and making sure that we're doing what we're supposed to. What? 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 It's my way for me! Let's go! Ajax Team Ray! Ajax Team Ray! Exercise! G, G, S. Let's go! Punt, punt, punt! Let's go, get a little juice. Gus, a little, little energy today, please. As he yawns, wake up. He's been here for like three hours. I didn't even know he was here today. All right, down the middle. You know, all the specials keep, uh, keep it light a lot. Um, Shane definitely holds us accountable all the time, and he's, you know, the, like, the leader when I came in, and um, all the guys just kind of took me in and showed me the right way to do things, and we all just kind of like to keep it light. We don't, like, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Let's go, you ding-dongs. Nice. Circle it up. There you go, Austin. You got a nice little plumber, plumber's crack going there. It's not enjoyable to look at. Oh my goodness. And like, what? I had the biggest How celebration. Dirt is in there. Wow, I put like my face actually, in there. It's like you actually play. <laughs> Austin, spin it for me. There it is. Dude, I hit, the, I hit that like perfect timing. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of Texas A&M athletics. Nine, two, eight, eight, five, 95, 93, 99. Better have some J.U. Ice. A&M has counted on the defensive tackles all season. They've come through right down to the letter. You know, coach talks about all the time body language, and, and I always use the term BBL, bad body language. We don't want that. You got to bring energy. You know, it's supposed to be fun. Practice is not the fun, the game is the fun. But we got to have energy, you know, in practice. And, and like I said, the big guys, if we go hard, we bring energy, the whole defense goes hard. And that, that's what we have to do. Hey, get your hands behind the ball. 
Get your hands behind the ball. Keep them knees bent. Let's go. Quick, 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 quick. Dip and rip, dip and rip. Get that toe up and feel good, good, good. Hey, I need to see a violent pull with that right arm. I need to see a violent pull with that right arm. Get up in the box. Get up in the box. You know, for us, the D tackles, you know, it's a thankless group. Uh, we get hit every play. We got to be the tough guys on the team. And I tell the guys all the time, we bring energy every day at practice. The whole defense plays harder. And that's what we have to do. That's kind of our battle cry. You know, every day we got to bring energy. Every day we got to be excited to play. Every day we got to work on our craft and get better. But as a group, I'm starting to see those guys grow together um, as they play together. What's important this week is um, making sure that we're still technically sound, even though we don't have a bye week in practice. Got to make sure everything's right, crisp, and say everybody look good. Make sure we get healthy. Say hit. That's it. That's it. Get out. Get out. Get, get it. Good. 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 Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Zay's a, a guy that brings a lot of energy to the group. He's kind of the same. He, he practices hard. It, it carries over in the game and in terms of his play and his effort. Um, he's a guy that's been a disruptive force. He brings a lot of energy for the group. He keeps the group going. Um, and he, he, he's, I'm pleased with where he is right now. He, he's a guy that I think takes a lot of pride. He wants to be one of the, the guys, one of the best D tackles in this league, and he's starting to, to practice and play that way. Coach Turner has really helped us a lot in working on our technique and just us doing our job and just helping others, you know, helping other defense players, like linebackers, safeties, do it, uh, make plays. So I feel like we've done a great job so far. There you go, there you go, there you go, good, good. Hey, if you flatten him out that much, that's great. That's it, reload it, reload it. Kiki's just a guy that every day just comes and works. I doesn't say a whole lot. He's Mr. Dependable, and he's starting to play like, a, like an SEC D tackle. Look at him, look at him, punch it, punch it. Punch it, punch it. You got me? Don't just put your damn hand up. It ain't a race, you see? Let's go, let's go, here we go. Hey, hey, stab and get in. Soon as I do this, I gotta start working my hips and get inside. That's it. Ah, right, stop it! Good job, good job, good job! We wanted to make improvement each week, and, and you're starting to see that now. Uh, the guys have been working extremely hard, done everything I've asked them to do, um, starting to play well as a group in terms of the complete front four, the defensive end. So um, I'm pleased with where we are right now. We've still got a long ways to go, but it's a great group and they're working hard. And I think they want to be really good in this league. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by Memorial Hermann, Advancing Health. Time, it's rarely on the side of a college football player. Their routine requires them to remain on the go. Seven, eight. <laughs> Seven in the morning, study hall, class, all day to one, workouts, meetings, practice, start over the next day. A career can move quickly by. That's why they must stay on the path that leads to a diploma. I tell every student and parent when they come in for recruiting that, you know, it's our goal, to, you know, to, to get you, uh, get that 90 hours and get that ring on your finger and get that degree in your hand. That's what it's all about for us. We'll have bumps along the way, but if you, book, if you follow the system, trust the program, trust the process that we have, uh, you can be successful. Through it all, the body must be taken care of. There's plenty of resources available to do so. They'll all tell you rest is key. Obviously, one of the biggest things on recovery is sleep. Um, so when you start talking about the stressors of, of both performing and practicing and playing at a high level in the SEC and then uh, the stressors of what it is to get an education here at Texas A&M, you know, all that can impact uh, an individual's sleep. And the Aggies have added some science to the equation. You look at what I'm wearing right now. This thing is a little sleep band here. It'll track how soundly I slept from what time to what time. And then they'll come and talk to you, you know, once or twice every week about your sleep and say, all right, you didn't get the very good sleep the other night, so tonight is going to be a big night. Look at this. Numbers-wise, it's even more important than ever that you're getting that extra half an hour of sleep or you're taking advantage of a window to get a nap. So we can use it from a motivation standpoint. Um, and then when they see it in numbers, they know they're doing more. They know it's more important, but when you actually put a number with it, you know, that can help. Oftentimes, strength and conditioning coach Mark Hockey sees them early and provides an uplifting start to the day. Just from a mental standpoint, um, 
getting uh, some good solid work in at an early hour at the beginning of your day just kind of lays the foundation and puts you, I think, in a good mind frame as far as how you're going to handle or attack the rest of the day. Fuel must always be added. These guys got to eat. And nutrition is, is a huge part of, of what they're doing. It's something that they really need to make a priority um, is to, to help them to perform at their best, uh, you know, on the field, in the classroom, everywhere. You're eating five, six times a day really to maintain your weight and your muscle and your strength and your performance. Academics and athletics, a full schedule, a robust routine. And it all leads to Saturday. The Aggies simply try to go. I don't know. I'm so proud of the way they fought and what we've been able to accomplish so far and so fired up about where we're headed because got to keep getting better one week at a time. The Pulse, Texas A&M football, is presented to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. A&M took last Saturday off, and now it's on as SEC play cranks up again from Kyle Field this week. Yeah, I think anybody uh, could talk about the value that a bye week brings, uh, not only to the team, um, but the, the coaches, the players, not only physically, because it's such a brutal sport physically, but just the mental component. You know, you get away, but now you gotta get back into a routine. Football is such a routine-oriented uh, uh, situation that you know, getting the guys back, reeling them back in. You know, what, what we've been preaching to the guys, it's about us. Um, each week, just go about your business, stay in your normal routine, work to get better. You know, don't listen to the outside noise, um, and, and just keep striving to get a little bit better. Our effort has been outstanding, and it's hard to maintain that throughout the season. We're not big picture people. I think this team has been successful because uh, they're focused on a week-to-week -week basis, and we've got to get back into that. Uh, Coach, against Florida, your team had five sacks, and of course, Fitzgerald, you know, he's dual threat, really likes to run. Um, just kind of emphasize how pivotal it is for the defense to come up big once again, um, sacks putting pressure on Fitzgerald. Well, statistically, uh, they're the least sack team in the league, right? So, uh, and we lead the league in sacks. So, you know, it's, it's going to be, they, they, they are good at what they do. And um, they're extremely well coached. Offensively, defensively, and special teams wise, you know, they've, they've blocked a lot of punts. You know, we've all talked about w what they do and, and how they've been able to run the ball um, and, and, been, and create explosive plays through that. And then defensively, um, they're very well coached, uh, big and athletic up front. Um, always going to be. Uh, have, have really, really good team speed and be physical. So it's, it's a, a really a big challenge for us.